So is a parallel clamp with a smooth bar better than a parallel clamp with a toothed bar or vice versa? No, not really. At least not much. So it just so happens that I own four different kinds of parallel clamps. I've got a Jorgensen, I have a Bessie, Gross Stabil, which doesn't exist anymore, and an Irwin. Two of these clamps have a smooth bar, and two of these clamps operate on a toothed bar. So why do I have four different kinds of parallel clamps? Each one's got a story. These blue Irwins, I have about six of them. About 10 years ago, I used to write articles for a woodworking magazine here in Canada, and these were review samples or, or show samples or something that they had, and they just gave them to me. The Gross Stabil, I bought all of these, all of these, I bought them with my own money over the course of about 15 to 20 years. Um, after the company went defunct, there was a store here in town that bought up a lot of the remaining stock. So, I mean, it was, it was locally available. The Jorgensen, um, I got two, I only have two Jorgensen. I got two Jorgensen last year. They were given to me through attending WorkbenchCon uh, in 2020. And finally, I have exactly one Bessie Revo Junior clamp. And I, and I won it in a Facebook contest a couple of years ago. So that's why I have four different kinds. I, mean, I mostly have one kind, I just have a few extras uh, around it. Technically, the Gross Stabil clamps are Bessie clamps also because Bessie bought out Gross Stabil and that was the end of that brand. Okay, actually five kinds of parallel clamps, but we're not talking about these in this video. So the Irwin and the Jorgensen operate on a smooth bar and the way these work is here, the mechanism inside the head of the clamp, there are teeth which clamps into the bar when you crank it down and it just digs into the bar. And in fact, I've had these Irwins quite a while and it, gr it gradually gets some gouges over time. Now, one other factor is these clamps I find are just a little bit heavier than the other clamps. The heads are a little bit bigger. I, I don't know if that's because these need to be stronger from where for where they dig in, or, or if it just is happens to be a factor of these two brands. But I, I find these to be a little bit heavier. And yeah, it's something you notice as you handle them. The Gross Stabil and the Bessie, they have a they have a toothed bar. So the bar has got all kinds of little grooves cut into it from one end to the other. And the mechanism in the head interacts with that when you're clamping. I, I've never taken one apart, but the Gross Stabil, they happen to have it out here. So this part of the mechanism has teeth inside it. And when you, you know, you will, you will lift it slightly to slide it along. And when you push it like that, and then you start clamping, then it digs in against the teeth on the bar. They're all good clamps. They all have a large non-marring head. They're all parallel. They all provide a really good clamping force, so they all work fine. One issue with a toothed clamp is glue drips. When, when, you're, when you're clamping up something, I've had this clamp for many years, you can see, I'll, I'll bring the camera in close, you can see the, the remnants and the markings and the stains of years of glue on this. And yeah, the glue will drip on this and it will build, it'll get caught in the teeth and that will actually jam it sometimes when you're trying to slide it, so yes. I should put tape over the bars before I clamp. I never do it. It's just every now and then you gotta pull out the razor blade and flick away at the glue. Doesn't really happen on the smooth bar clamps. So with the smooth bar clamps, when you loosen it, you need to flick up on the handle to disengage it from the bar to slide it along. On my Gross Stabil, I don't have to flick it quite so much, so I, I have way more of these. So my, my muscle memory is really used to these clamps and whereas these clamps, I, you see, I really have to push them up to get them to disengage. So that's a minor difference. And for me, it's an annoyance because I'm so used to these clamps. But if, if, all, you had, if, if all you had was these, you wouldn't even notice it. So what's my favorite parallel clamp? What do I use the most? Well, I use these because I have way more of them. Some of that is simply numbers. I have way more of them. So obviously I'm gonna use it more. And some of it is just, I'm more used to these, so you reach for the familiar. These are fine, they're just a bit heavier. These are fine, they're just a bit heavier. And there's that, the flicking business that you have to get used to, so you tend to reach for the familiar. 
if I had a wall full of Bessie or if I had a wall full of Jorgensen, that's what I would reach for first. So they're all good. So note, full disclaimer, these are the only four brands of parallel clamps that I've ever tried. Those are the ones I have experience with. Um, I, I, I hear good things about Bessie, but I've only ever had the one and it's just this small lightweight one, so I almost never use it. I've heard good things about jet clamps, but I'm in Canada and Jet Tools really has virtually no presence in Canada. So I, I hear good things about the Jet because they've got this quick release under the handle. Uh, I'd love to try one out. I just never had one. Um, if you know of other brands that uh, are really good, um, put some notes down in the comments. We can all learn from each other. If there's any features that make them different or better, or um, again, put those down in the comments and um, yeah, if, if some clamp company wants to replace all my uh, gross to bill, you know, contact me and we'll talk. <laughs> okay, that's it for this one, guys. Just a, a quick little deep dive into one little aspect of these parallel clamps. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about things that I talked about today or about any of the clamps that you see in my shop, drop them down in the comments below. I try to answer as many as I can. And I think that's it. So we'll see you next time.